Hi Evan, here's your car. I'm going to talk about the front end here a little bit. These holes right here, Evan, on this new panel, okay? This is the new apron right here for the battery. These holes are where the, um, the, the sliding bolts, nuts go for the fender. And these were way off. These were really in the wrong position. That's why the fender fit back here and then it got really off up here because this was, this was not right. And the pictures I sent illustrate that. So what's going on is I've already put the fenders on it and they do line up. Okay, all the holes line up to the fenders, which it didn't do last time. And it's on both sides. Okay, and that top part right there, I just had to slim that off a little bit and move it just a tad bit. Just readjust it um, to make it so all the dimensions and you know fenders and stuff go on properly. Um, so what I'm going to do, but I'm I'm still welding on the car um, because you've already painted your fenders and stuff. I'm trying to you know minimize the damaging those ch or chipping them and, and making problems on the new paint um, I'm only gonna put those on you know when I need to but I've already put them on once but I'm still doing all the metal work so I don't want to get sparks and stuff on it you know especially your hood so they do go on and when you get back here you'll see them all together okay so that's all done and fixed hopefully that um, answers your questions and I'll kind of give you a walk around tour Tight, tight quarters in here, so I'm trying to maneuver around so you can see. I am concerned about this dip right here. Uh, I think the car, as you know, is hit in a wreck or some kind of a collision because this end is lower, and I compared it off the other Mustang. Um, and I put a piece of board, a flat edge along here, and it does dip down quite a bit, but I don't know if that can be shimmed up, but we'll just have to see when we put the fenders on. Okay, Evan. Take care.